Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Atomic Pop featuring Fat Man and Little Boy. I am Stephen Corka. Juan. And we are here. We're, we're a little late. We're probably a week late, but we're here to talk about uh, the spoiler filled. This is filled with spoilers, guys. So if you haven't seen it, <clears throat> Stop watching right now, but the spoiler-filled dog shit that is kept in Marvel. Is that a good description? Huh? I thought the movie was fantastic. Stop. Stop. You're such a fucking liar. Why do you do this to me all the time? What are you time? talking about? Why are you such a fucking liar? Why are you just a piece of shit liar? Like, why? Why are you misogynist? Why? Why? Just stop. Just oh, what are you talking about? It was great. I can't wait to talk about it. Wonski, I hate you right now. I really hate you right now. Guys, he is he is hashtag fake fake news right here. Fake news. All right, listen. First of all, Captain Marvel's been out for... Uh, we just went through its second weekend, so it's been out for officially a week and a half. About um, The first weekend, it pulled in about $155 million domestically. This weekend, it did about $60 million, $69 million, close to That's 70 That's a huge drop. Uh, it is a huge... But everyone does a huge drop, but still, they're considering it uh, a huge success. It's the number one movie two weeks in a row granted we are in the middle of march um so you know no surprise it doesn't have a lot of competition right now but people are loving captain marvel for the most part but i for one and wonski whether he wants to tell you the truth or not you know we both think it fucking sucked a fat dick okay it's all right first of all i just want to say this up front it's an okay movie it's a good puzzle piece in the mcu as a whole it ties a bunch of loose ends together and lets us know how we got to where we got uh currently but overall in my opinion, it's in the bottom tier of the Marvel movies. Uh, and that's my overall opinion. Wonski, could you please give the viewers your honest opinion yeah, of this I, dog I, shit of I, a movie? I think it's top five. Stop! Stop! I'm going to stop this recording right now. <laughs> what are you talking about? Stop! Stop! Oh, my God! You called me last night and told me how horrible it is. No, how horrible your opinion was. Fuck you right now. Like, you didn't like Black Panther and you don't like this. It's weird. Stop! Oh, my God. You didn't laugh during the movie. It was funny. It was heartwarming. It connected it. It harkened back to a gender, to a time that we loved. Why, why are you doing the this? The 90s. Why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? <laughs> Just stop. I hated the movie. Oh my, thank you. I hated Jesus. the movie. Oh my God! I was ready to fucking just. I was ready to have a heart attack right now. I really hated the movie a lot. Oh my God! All right. It had its good moments. Look, it it was it was entertaining. Look, I, I said no, this. No, it, I, listen, I, I said this last week on our live stream. It's entertaining the same way Justice League was entertaining. I can watch it. It's watchable. It's not the end of the world, but it is nowhere near this cinematic Marvel movie masterpiece that people are making out to be. Right. Hello. How you guys hey, doing? How you guys doing? Hello. So, all right, so I mean, we're getting to a point now that movies that special effects and just it's so good, so good that even the shittiest movie is bearable. Yes, right, because you're at least seeing something nice on screen. Yes. So, I mean, it was serviceable. Yeah, no, it wasn't bad. And look, listen, let's talk about what we, what we liked about the movie first sure. of all. For me, I liked that it connected a lot of loose ends. The little uh, Easter eggs. Yeah, there were a lot of the Easter eggs. I mean, of course, whether you liked it or hated it, we saw how Nick Fury lost his eye. We saw how the Cosmic Cube got from Captain America First Avenger to Avengers. Because if we remember, in First Avenger, it got buried in the Antarctic with the Red Skull. And right. then all of a sudden, Nick Fury has it in a suitcase, you know? Right. Uh, so we, we saw how that happened. Uh Obviously, we also saw the guy that the the black guy with the eyes from Guardians of the Galaxy that was looking for Star Lord in the beginning. He was on the the Kree team here, mm -hmm. uh, which which was I don't know if you caught that. Uh, we saw Ronin again, which was from Guardians of the Galaxy. A lot of Guardians of the Galaxy tie-ins in this movie this as cosmic well. Cosmic stuff. Cosmic stuff. Uh, and then of course we got to meet uh, Captain Marvel, who's going to be a huge part of, of course, Avengers Endgame. Uh, not just Avengers Endgame, but it looks like she's going to be the main, the main, I, my, the uh, main anchor for the next I, set of Marvel movies. And and the way that they did, and the way they announced, is probably what I hated the most. The Easter egg, yeah, that threw me off. That like left a horrible sour taste in my mouth. Is Carol Avenger Danvers, and he changed oh. the name to the Avengers Initiative. Got me so upset. Did that really make you upset? Because she's going to lead the Avengers, right? Like, yes. Yeah. That's really annoying to me. Yes. I yeah. don't like her. Yeah. Um, so we're doing Captain Marvel spoilers, guys. 
Hope you saw the movie. All right. Okay. Um, I, I will say this. Um, they, they thought it was they great. Thought it was they great. thought it was they great. They probably walked out because they heard us talking so much shit. They thought it was great, yeah. Oh. Uh, it wasn't that great, guys. Listen, listen. They probably haven't read the comics. They probably know nothing about anything. That, well, now you that, sound like an elitist. Uh, maybe so. But listen, here's what I hated the most about the movie. The scrolls and their interpretation of the scrolls. First of all, guys, if you don't know this, the scrolls are one of the baddest, most evil races of of beings in the universe. Okay, they are they are manipulative. They are liars. They are sneaky. They are murderers. They are just they are they're up there with the brood. Okay, they are just nasty. Beings there was that, a giant event around them trying to destroy everything. Yes, Secret, Secret Invasion. Invasion. That led that Marvel Comics was had in their comic series for like close to ten years leading up to this series. Yeah. And you didn't know who to trust because the people you thought were with you were scrawls the entire time. Right. You know, so like some really evil manipulative un- and the MCU had an opportunity to start that here. To set up to set Secret up Invasion. Secret Invasion because you don't know who is who. Like, think of this. How would you feel if Black Widow this entire time that we have seen her was on screen a was a scrawl? Great. Wouldn't that be amazing? Sure. And it's revealed in, like, the Black Widow solo movie? Something like that? I don't know. But guess what? That's all thrown out, guys, because... The scrolls are poor Mexican immigrants who are being chased out by Trump. Refugees seeking political asylum and a place to live and call home, and they have just been oppressed by the evil Cree Empire. When they're actually MS-13 gang members. Let's be real about something. The Cree are not nice people. They are evil. Okay. Yeah, the like, Cree are bad. The, the Cree are bad. They're, they're just out for themselves. They just want to dominate the universe. Okay. But to make the scrolls. First of all, the first half of the movie with the scrolls I thought was great. Yep. You know, the old lady on the train and then changing into other things and just seeing the badass of Agent Coulson being a scroll. That was a nice little uh, Yeah. I like seeing Agent Coulson in this. I did even though he didn't I don't think he got a, a ton of screen time, but no. but yeah, definitely good, nice little thing. The, but just to have the scrolls and then all of a sudden like that the main bad scroll guy all of a sudden becomes comic relief. Like Talos, first of all. Yeah. Yeah, he becomes comic relief for the movie and 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 he just wants to be re- reunited with his family that's been sitting on this like base for the last ten years, right? You know, waiting to find a home because uh, Ronan, the accuser, and all the other accusers and the Kree are trying to just you know create gen- uh, cosmic genocide and get yeah. rid of them entirely. And what a disservice to the evil villain that is known as the Skrulls in the Marvel universe. Yeah. And I don't know how you undo that. A lot of people are saying, okay, well, just because... No, you can't undo that. Just because those people were like that doesn't represent the race as a whole. And I guess you could make that argument, but good luck. No, Good I luck undoing that in the movies and convincing the audience that the scrolls are really bad guys now. No, you can't. You can't. All the bad guys are uh, white people. <laughs> uh, scrolls are green. Scrolls are green. Scrolls are green. Um, so Sam Jackson, best part of the movie. Best part of the movie? Really? Nick Fury. And Goose. I like Goose, but I don't like how... St- that's how Nick Fury loses his eye from a cat scratch. Loved it, because it's so stupid. You like that? I like that. It okay. fits into the whole Nick Fury persona. All right, okay. Because it's just a stupid way to lose your eye. All right. Well, you liked it. I didn't like that part. Um, what but else? the cat disappears. Okay. What happened to this race of cats? Who says it was, it was a, ra- a race of cats? It's just a cat. Well, they're aliens. Obviously, but maybe they're from somewhere else. I don't yeah. know. What happened to them? I don't know. How do you get the Tesseract out of the cat? Did oh, you, there was an did after you see the cut scene. scene? Yeah, that's the cat right, spit yeah. it up like a mouth, like a like a hairball. Yeah, yeah. 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 What do you think of the cut scene? Best part of the movie. The Avengers cut scene. The Avengers cut scene. Best part of the movie, hands down. Again, connecting things, seeing how things. We we understand where Nick Fury got it. It's from his modified beeper that he had, his text beeper that he had from the '90s, and then the Avengers had it. It cut out. We see how Captain Marvel gets there. All right, a lot of people are like, where's Captain Marvel been this entire time? Of course, she's at the Kree, fighting the Kree, trying to like bring justice and fight for the Skrulls, and that's what we'll see in Captain Marvel too. Yeah, she's somewhere probably. fucking tilting her chin at a 30-degree angle, kind of looking off into the distance, considering how she can fight the male patriarchy. All right, there you go. So, what else didn't you like about the movie? I, I said the Skrulls. You, I, you started with the, uh, with the thing you didn't like was... Uh, what was your first thing that you didn't like? 
I just didn't like Breedlove. Oh, you didn't like the Avenger? How Avengers got the Oh, the name. Avenger Initiative. I didn't like the Scrolls. We, we, what do you think we, of that we, whole we, Avenger we Initiative? Both. Carol Avenger. I didn't like it because of what it, the implications it has for for Marvel going forward. Like after this phase, uh, after they wipe out, however they wipe out Captain America and and Iron Man and everything, Carol's going to be the new leader of the Avengers. I don't like that. Not because I disagree with a female leading the Avengers. Yeah. I don't like it because I didn't like Carol Danvers in this movie. Okay, so your your next dislike is Carol Danvers. I did not like a Brie. And, and I, is it Brie Larson or Carol Danvers? Do, uh, is, is it the writing of the character or is it Brie Larson's portrayal both. of the character? Okay, why? Um, I didn't. I, I thought that Brie Larson was not charismatic at all. Okay. And a lot of the movie was trying to force us. Uh, like it was like a forced charm, right? Like, I, but I could see right through what they were trying to do with Carol Danvers. I wasn't into it. Y- you know what? I- I didn't mind Brie Larson. I didn't mind the character of of Ca- Captain Marvel and how they wrote her. My problem with Captain Marvel's character, and not just her, but how Kevin Feige and, and, and the whole MCU as a whole, I think everyone's trying to make their main characters replicate Robert Downey and Tony Stark. Okay, Doctor Strange, he's cocky, he's full of himself, he's got jokes, he he jabs back. You know, even Bruce Banner and 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 Thor have become comic relief where they're serious at times, but they got their cocky demeanor to them. Cap, who was the you know the the, the, the strong. I, I, first I Avenger, really hate Mark Ruffalo. Is, man. I can't stand Mark Ruffalo, but Cap and he's ruining thing. the movies. Oh, he's horrible, horrible, Hulk, you know, horrible. Did you see the preview for Dark Phoenix? I know this is off topic, but yes, I did. I saw I saw the international. How fucking horrible is Mystique? Bad. Uh, no, yeah. Jennifer Lawrence yes. is making her because she wants her face to be seen. Uh huh. Mark Ruffalo is doing the same thing in Hulk. Every movie, it's less Hulk, more Mark Ruffalo. Yes. That's awful. Yeah. Like put your egos away. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's what Marvel's doing. I mean, look, you look at the you look at the posters. Do you, is Iron Man ever in his fucking helmet? No, never. Is Black Panther ever in his helmet? Yeah, it's true. You know, is anyone ever in their helmet? No. Nobody. Don Even Hawkeye now has got his fucking little mohawk. Like, everybody. Nobody nobody covers their face. You know? It's like, what the fuck, guys? We know who you are. We don't need to see your face on the poster. Sure. You yeah, know? No. Or do two different posters. Show us the hero poster, the way you look, the way we want to see you, and then show your, your ego one. But, okay, so, yeah, back to my point. I just think Marvel is really, t- you know... Robert Downey's portrayal and the writing of Tony Stark is so successful, so charismatic. People love it so much that that's what they want to see. Nobody liked God like Thor, so Chris Hemsworth had to be his funny, cocky self, you know. Uh, and this is the same thing with Brie Larson. She, it, it, I, it's like they're like, listen, you're a bad bitch. You're you're awesome. You're cocky. No one can fuck with you, and that's how we want you to be, you know. It, there's no humbleness to any of these characters. It seems, right. you know. And that, that you know, so I, I agree with you on that. Another thing I hated, um, Marvel. I can't believe Marvel, who's is who's supposed to be like the, the, the 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 main Captain Marvel that trains, uh, Carol Danvers, the Padawan, however you want to say it, the Apprentice. Okay, to be the new Captain Marvel, is Annette Benning, and it's a Kree scientist that's been on Earth for a long time, trying to save the. Uh Try, trying to create a warp drive, yeah. which, by the way, guys, don't they already have a warp drive? How did they get from the creep planets to Earth so quickly? Isn't that a warp drive? I don't get that. But the whole Marvel and how they portrayed Marvel and it's Annette Benning. nothing against Annette Benning. I love Annette Benning and Warren Beatty and that whole team there. But uh, no. No, 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 no. No. Your next flaw... I felt like that whole 90s thing was a little push and not organic at all. Very pushed. Um, uh, not as bad as Bumblebee with the 80s. Right. But bad. It was pretty bad. Bad. Every song, of course, was from the 90s, which, whatever, fine. No, which, which was fine, but also like yeah. the music choice, like garbage, right? Like garbage. Yeah, well... Only happening when it rains. Well, uh, they, they, they really tried to pick female no they female right. 90s tunes. I mean, granted, they did have the, the Nirvana tune, Come As You Are. You know, and a couple... Which felt... It was so out of place. Yeah, I mean... I, I didn't like it. I didn't like all the little 90s... And they put really forced it, right? Yeah. With, like, the pinball machine... And yes. the lunchbox... And yes. Like, Again, not as bad as Bumblebee. Like Bumblebee it was, was just, super It was just not, or, not organic, organic at all. And I it kind of, like, ruined it for me. I thought the, the falling through a blockbuster was kind of funny. I like that. Yeah. Um, Her outfit... I mean, look. They put her in nine-inch nail shirt... And then, like, shooting off the head of Arnold Schwarzenegger and from the True Lies... Yes. Out, like... 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I know women are super powerful. It's cool. Yeah, but but I Arnold alone. <laughs> but the they you know the nine inch nail shirt, but then she had to wear the the flannel around her. Yeah. Like, like listen, I grew up in the nineties. Women did not dress like that. The guys did. But girls didn't oh, really. South Florida is different. Some girls, most of the girls did not dress like that. A lot of the girls I hung out with did. Really? Yeah. I don't know. Whatever. I hung out with the metalhead, so. Okay, well, I don't know. You're like a band boy. Where's the Snoop Dogg? If, if we're doing all this 90s stuff, they didn't even they didn't talk about hip hop. No. It was all like alternative grunge. Well, they had TLC. They did. Was it Waterfalls? Oh. I don't know. Like, did they even listen to the, what that song's about? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Um, yeah, I, I do agree. That's true. My next complaint about the movie is the supreme intelligence from the Kree. Sure. Holy fuck, guys. All right. First of all, if you don't know, in the comic books, the supreme intelligence is actually in an organic, like, massive brain. Okay? And I guess they said they don't want to replicate that in the movies because that just doesn't make sense. But you're telling me that the Kree civilization, this super advanced highly you know intelligent uh race of beings is manipulated and controlled and governed by artificial intelligence like go fuck off that has little like implants in their in their necks i just no i'm good i'm good i don't like it i hate it horrible interpretation of the supreme intelligence sure yeah and i think we could have spent more uh more time on halos the kree planet yeah, you know? I mean, they did a lot of work to design it, so... Yeah, I mean, uh, the... the cre- I hated that whole team, by the way. Yeah, the, the, you know, the, Ju- I expected more from Jude. I saw an article today that said that Jude Law's character is, is worse than Thanos, is a better villain than Thanos. That's ridiculous. Comic Book Resources put that out. They're ridiculous. They are fucking insane. They're okay? ridiculous. First of all, Jude Law should have been the real Marvel, you know, and... and but his team was awful. Yes. I didn't have a problem with Jude Law. I think he was fine. Yeah. Um, saw it coming, obviously. Everyone did, right? Um, but that I, rest- I did. I thought the Scrawls were the bad guys. The rest of that team was... You, did you really see the... Sc- I mean, you read it. You read before you saw the movie. Right. So you got spoiled. But let's just say you didn't. Would you have really have seen the twist that the Scrawls really you, were good guys? No. Seeking... No, Asylum? But the minute they knew they were good guys, you obviously figured out right away. Oh, Law. right away. Yeah, yeah, right away. Yeah. Um, I, I didn't have a problem with Jula, but the rest of that team was, like, really tacky. Yeah. Like, like they're from a B-movie. Yeah. They even looked like that. Like, they were no, they just, like... I, I like the girl. I like the Asian girl with the blue skin. I thought she was cool. The Kree. Widowmaker? Was that who it was? I don't fucking know. Yeah. Oh, well, Widowmaker. Uh, and, 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 again, the black guy that was from Guardians, uh, he, he was he was, he was a, a fresh face to see. But the big, the big Viking-looking dude, whatever, who cares? He was awful. Yeah. Um, uh, another thing that that just, that just drove me crazy. What was what was I gonna say? Um, shit, I forgot. Go. What were no, you? I still can't get over the previews for Dark Phoenix and how terrible that looked. To Jennifer Lawrence. Oh, you're still thinking about Dark. We're talking about Captain Marvel, but you think about Dark Phoenix. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm done with Captain Marvel. That's it, man. What, what more is there to say? I didn't. It was serviceable. Oh, my daughter loved it. I I I know I know what I was gonna say. My my. So my main problem with Captain Marvel clearly was the scrolls. Okay, that was my biggest like what the fuck moment. Mm-hmm. All right, all the other little things I didn't like either. But my second biggest problem with the movie was is there was really no real villain, you know. And they made Ronan look like a fucking pussy, yeah. like the accuser Ronan. And and they're Did looking. Did they change his makeup? It's like weirdly. He looked blue. different. Yeah. yeah. And then, and then and then the guy looked at like. Oh my god! Up, up until we, up, up we until, should get out of here. Up until Thanos, like Ronan was my favorite villain. Yeah, and and you know what? Like, so what? Ronan was too scared to take on Captain Marvel, but he was okay with defying Thanos yeah. in in Guardians of the Galaxy. Like, come on, guys! Like, and he was painted weird. It was just weird looking. Just the fact that there was no the villain was politics, yeah. really, in this movie. You know, politics and 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 an oppressing government against another group of individuals that was the real yeah. villain in this movie thanks hollywood you know and it's just i i didn't i didn't enjoy that they had an opportunity to make a real badass out of the scrolls turn them into a race of beings that we could see in future movies or at least set up secret invasion set up secret invasion I mean, you've got the rights to deadpool back which is great fantastic four fantastic four which so is like, which is scroll heaven yeah so, you know yeah uh, and yeah, and they fucked it up. They really did. So uh, listen, our, it's just not. It's not for us. It, it, yeah, I, mean, I don't Brie know. Brie Larson said it. What'd she say? This movie isn't for white men. 
You're not white. Hmm? You're not white at all. Like, not you know even close. You know what's terrible? Like, I do look white, though. But you're not. I know. You're like 100% I I was Cuban. Right. I know, but you're... But I took right. it, like, if, if Brie Larson... I was going, if Brie Larson saw me, she'd be like, this movie's not for you either. I know what she meant. Okay. Right? All right. Uh, maybe it's not meant for us, for real. Like, my son loved it. Uh, my daughter loved it. Yeah, but you... Okay, listen. Here's what I'm going to say. My little girl really liked right, it a lot. Time out, time out, time out. To be fair, we know about comic books. We know about the backstory about comic books. I will say this, just to be fair and objective about it. If I didn't know a damn thing about it, I would probably like the movie way more than I do. But I know about the scrolls. I know about right. the Supreme so, Intelligence. Again, it wasn't made for I us. know about the original Captain Marvel and how Carol Danvers became Captain Marvel. I know about all this stuff. And I appreciate that story. I appreciate the writers that built that story. I think it's great. I think it's a great mythos. And I think it's a lost opportunity from the MCU because I think they did a poor job right, at executing that. So, But if I didn't know about any of that... I probably would have like like your kids. I probably would have right, enjoyed so the movie Gabriella much more. She stayed through the movie afterwards. She started clapping, which she's never done in a movie. She didn't clap with Wonder Woman. No, she not clapped with Wonder Woman. It was it wasn't better than Wonder Woman. If mm -hmm. we're talking woman movie, women led movies, Wonder Woman was, was much better. My daughter clapped for this movie, and not Wonder Woman. That's all I know. I don't know what that means. Okay, she's whatever. 10. Okay. Anyways, go on. So yeah. Gabriel, I love again, I'm being fair here. Like again, if I didn't know about the scrolls, I probably would have liked this movie too. But I know about the scrolls and they screwed it up. And that and that alone is what I, I just think the movie that you're just me. you just have an idea of what it could be. Of, I mean, of, everyone has their opinions, of course. Like also me thinking about what how awesome it would be to have Secret Invasion. Yeah, and we're we're never gonna get that now. Right, but then again, you know, I mean yeah. that's been the trend. Yeah. When have like Civil War wasn't Civil War? It was close. It was like very, very watered down. The o the origin of how we got the Civil War was was wasn't shown. But who cares about Speedball blowing up a town, a small town? Well, I do because he becomes Penance. Yes, which was badass. Yeah, which is one of your favorite villains you mentioned. Heroes, um, heroes, whatever. Yeah. Um, so here's the future, guys. Captain Marvel is definitely going to be greenlit for a sequel. She's going to be the main person in the in in the uh, Avengers movie that's going to take down Thanos and. It's been said that she's going to be the main character that holds together the MCU in the next phase, the same way Iron Man is right now. Um, that could be good or that could be bad, but here's, here's what I do know. In the comic book world, nobody cares about Carol Danvers. Nobody reads her books, and whenever she leads something in the books, it just doesn't do as well as they want to. And like the Inhumans, Marvel has tried to shove Carol Danvers down readers' throats, and readers have not embraced it. That's not my opinion, guys. That is a fact, and there are the sales to back it up. So whether that translates over into the movies, we will yet to see. Well, the movies are different, obviously. The, the movies are clearly different, but they need to make Captain Marvel more interesting in the movies than they have in the comics. They I mean, I, I think another problem is that, you know... The, the differences between her and Tony Stark, like, also in the people that she's going to lead, right? Yeah. So, you have Tony Stark and, like, Captain America, but then you have all, you know, like, War Machine, uh, you know, Black Widow, Hawkeye. They're all, like, Carol Danvers is going to be trying to lead the new Avengers with Black Panther. Yes. Doctor Strange. See, Black Panther like, should be the main right. per I but, think Black Panther should how, be the main how, guy. How is that? How Not is, Carol Danvers. How is Carol Danvers going to go? How is she going to? How's Doctor Strange going to listen to whatever the fuck she says? Like, you know what I'm saying? There's too many strong personalities for yes. her to be the leader of the Avengers. Yes. Like, for instance, a fucking king. Yeah, but but Black Panther, to be fair, T'Challa is very reasonable. He can rationalize. I think he can he can uh, he can compromise. Doctor Strange, I'm with you on that. Like, Doctor Strange will listen to you, but at the end of the day, it's like he's going to do what he wants. Yeah, fuck off. You know what I mean? Right. Well, he kind of did that to Tony Stark. Anyway. Yeah, absolutely. Right. Yeah, but but yeah. like, so we got you know like, and and then like. Not just that. Carol Danvers is going to be leading an Avengers that's going to have, obviously, T'Challa in it. It's going to have, like we said, Doctor Strange. It's probably going to incorporate the Fantastic Four and Reed Richards. It could incorporate the X-Men if they wanted to and Doctor X, Professor X. Yeah. How the fuck is she supposed to lead them? Like, I, I, I just don't see it. I don't either. It, this movie didn't convince me that the way they wrote her, that she could be a leader of these characters yeah like reed richards dude he's too smart for her dr strange sorcerer supreme t'challa has his own kingdom yes right so 
in in the original Avengers team, you could see like you know Thor was from another planet, Captain America was a man out of time, right? Then everyone else, you know, Black Widow, Hawkeye, they're all soldiers, yeah, right. So it made sense for Iron Man to lead that team, yeah. Right here, it's just you have so many strong personalities, and and in the movies, right, uh, Black Panther and uh, Doctor Strange both came across really well, right? Mm-hmm. She didn't come across like. A dominant personality it was just forced well to be fair she spent three quarters of the movie trying to find herself also sure you know and she didn't find herself to the I mean, we'll end. see what happens with avengers we're gonna know yeah uh in the you know the new end game preview she's in there for like five seconds and it oh that trailer it, yeah and she's a bishop bro yeah so i mean whatever but that's another conversation Looks like all bishop's coming look either way guys check it out Watch Captain Marvel. It's important that we watch all of these movies, even if you hear that they got bad reviews or good reviews, because uh, the more we watch them, the more we keep getting them. Uh, Captain Marvel overall is a good puzzle piece in the overall Marvel Cinematic Universe. It ties together a lot of loose ends. It's an asterisk. It gives us, it gives us a, an origin story to a character that we're going to see for many years to come, uh, whether we whether we love it or hate it. It doesn't matter. Uh, she's here to stay, uh, and Captain Marvel is very powerful, as we're going to see in Mar- uh, Avengers Endgame. Uh, and so go check out the movie real quick before we close out though where do you place Captain Marvel in the Marvel Cinematic Universe probably bottom five I'm with you I'm with you. it's down there with Thor 2 and Iron Man 3 for me I mean uh, yeah yeah and again guys this isn't this has nothing to do with you know what it's like Ant-Man 2 I it's th- like just super mediocre I no, I liked it I thought Ant-Man 2 was much better but at the end of the day it was that mediocre I thought I I I enjoyed Ant Man too. I, I I put it down there with Ant Man too. Uh, uh, like it's it's better than the, than the two Iron Men and Thor Dark Worlds. Like Iron Man two and three Thor Dark Worlds. I see. I thought Iron Man two was better than this. Really? I yeah, I did. I did. You I know. I'm a huge fan. Wow. But bottom five. Bottom five for sure. You know, and guys, guess what? Just a little preview. After we watch Avengers Endgame, which is basically going to be the end of the the Marvel Cinematic Universe as we know it, and then it's going to go to a new phase, we're going to rate all the Marvel movies. It's going to be great. So stay tuned for that. Anyways, go watch Captain Marvel. Go check it out. Uh, let us know what you thought in the comments section. Like, all that fun stuff. If you're not subscribed to our channel, subscribe to our channel, uh, uh, youtube.com forward slash Corker Comics. Come check us out at our three locations. We're right here in Miami right now, 107th and 8th Street. We have another location in Coral Gables on Lejeune Road just off US 1 by uh, Shops of Merrick Park and Havana Harry's and then of course our first location in Pembroke Pines on Pines Boulevard just east of University across from Perry Airport uh, for Tom Pop featuring Fat Man and Little Boy I'm Stephen Corkum. One. Later.